Hello, my name is Grace and I'm from Silico. Yeah, and today I will show you how to connect the Silico CT20 and the CT30 with the LS device. Are you ready? Let's start it! Okay, now we have a CT20 and a CT30. Yeah, and the front appearance, yeah, they look like uh, twins, right? Yeah, and actually it uh, is the same. Um, and the only difference between them is the scanning head here. Yeah, the CT20 has a CCD scanning head, which can read the barcode on the screen. And uh, the CT30 has a laser scan scanning head, which means that it will read the barcode with a very fast speed and a quick response. Yes, and the difference between their uh, scanning head and it will decide the light they have shown, which we can see. Yeah, it is a laser, it's a laser light and uh, it is a CCD light. So the red light can read the barcode on screen and uh, the laser scanning head can read uh, the common barcode, okay? And uh, today I will uh, use the CT30 as an example. It is an indicator light and it is a scan key and it is the power key. And this one is the multifunctional key, okay? Now let's try to open it, okay? Okay, after opening it, you can see the indicator light is red. It means that it is ready for pairing with the LS device. However, if the indicator light is blue, yeah, it means that the device has been paired with other devices before. So what you need to do is to um, make some operations to reset it and to reset to the factory settings, okay? And uh, the specific steps uh, can be follows, can be as follows. Okay, now you should uh, open the big start guide, yeah, and uh, just uh, find, find the common functional area, yeah, this common function, yeah, and you need to, if the indicator light, if the in, if the indicator light is blue, yeah, you need to make some resettings. Yeah, first you need to scan the enter set up and then factory reset. Next exit with the safe. Yeah, you need to scan these these three barcodes so as to um, reset your uh, device. Okay, and uh, now the indicator light is. Uh, Red, so we can just uh, directly pairing it with LS device. Okay, now let's try to scan this barcode. That first one, um, scan the enter setup, then scan the one click LS connection setup, and next scan the exit with safe. Okay, and now, uh, what, and uh, when we come to the fourth step, we need to restart our. Um, device, yeah, let's try to restart it, okay, now try to uh, press the power key for 5 seconds, yeah, and after hearing the two short beeps, it means that it is switched off, and then we restart it by pressing the power button for another 5 seconds, okay, just uh, hearing one short beep, it means that yeah, it uh, is uh, switched on again. And now, let's try to connect the LS device. Okay, now we get a LS device. Yeah, and uh, let's try to open the Bluetooth option here. Yeah, and uh, after waiting for a while, we can see the CT30, the, avail the available device has been listed on our phone and we can try to connect it. And after, after waiting for a while, there is a dialogue request popping up on the screen and uh, we can see a pin code which is consisted of four numbers. Yeah, we need to scan the four numbers on this area. Yeah, we can see 
The phone number is six four four zero. Yeah, let's try to scan. Six four four zero. And uh, we need to scan the confirm. Okay, now we can see the CT30 has been connected with the iOS device. Okay, now we have opened a blank Word document and uh, the cursor is here. And let's try to scan my favorite candy. Yeah, and the barcode is here. And let's, let's see what happened on the screen, okay? No. Yeah, code appearing on the Word document with a very fast speed, okay? Which means we have uh, succeeded in connecting the CT30 with the iOS device. Okay, and uh, now you can try to scan by yourself. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.